Hey everybody, it's Michael Rosso, Film Photography Project, here today to talk about the Bell & Howell T20 XL Super 8 camera. I highly recommend this camera as a starter camera because it is so easy to use. The camera, when sitting idle, is in the off position. And then you have two choices, which I put a cheat sheet on, which is one side, 85 filter, which puts a orange filter over your lens if you're using tungsten like 200T or 500T film in an outdoor situation and underneath is a sun that means 85 filter to put it in that mode it puts the filter behind your lens or if you want to shoot with no filter which is the light bulb setting turn it there here is your pistol grip which you would hold your camera when shooting or on the bottom is a tripod thread. Here is your uh, film indicator uh, when you start your roll to the end of your roll and if you listen very carefully you will hear your Super 8 roll roll out when it is at the very end. On the other side of the camera very simple is your film compartment this camera takes two AA batteries. These are the only batteries that this camera needs. It runs the motor and the light meter. Here is where you would insert your cartridge. I'm just using this as an example. This is an old Kodachrome cartridge. I do not recommend you shoot Kodachrome or old Ektachrome 160 in this year or beyond. Your cassette will just pop in to your camera. Quick tip, very quick tip, if you have a test roll or you bought an old roll off of eBay and you want to see if your camera works, look at your film and with a Sharpie just put an X on your film. I mean you could do this with a new roll as well, it won't hurt it. And then when you pop your film in, and with this camera the shutter button is right here in the front of the camera. And then when you look at your roll, you know your camera's working if that X has mysteriously disappeared because you know your film is being transported in your cassette. Great thing about this camera, it's a point and shoot camera. You have wide to telephoto, no focusing whatsoever. And that's it. Two thumbs up for me. Last thing I'm gonna say is, for film, it's called an XL existing light and is designed for ISO up to 160 ISO. So if you're using your brand new 50D outside, your, your gold. If you're using 200T indoors or outdoors, your gold. If you're using new Ektachrome 100D, your gold. If you're using 500T, just be aware to use your 500T in, very, in a lower light situation and it'll look just fine. Indoor, with all your indoor lights on, you'll render an image. Or outdoors, in late day, extreme shade, do not use 500T, in my opinion, in broad daylight. You will amazingly overexpose your film. And that's all I can say about this underdog, underappreciated point and shoot model by the famous Bell and Howell. You can send me an email, michael at filmphotographyproject.com. The Film Photography Project sells brand new Super 8 film. We also offer developing and scan services, and I hope to hear from everyone very soon. Bright looking lead.